Okay, I found a nice shady spot. We're back into a little few bits of paint on this one. The reds looking good, but we still need whites and blues and some other little touch points. So we'll keep playing. First thing I need though, straight off the ranks is gonna be this. You forget this stuff and this stuff changes your life. It's a uh, bug spray. It's not archival. It doesn't belong on the artwork, but it's handy stuff. <laughs> hey ya. How you doing? Okay, there we go. Now I'm ready to paint. That is far, far better. Okay. Let's use a unique tool here. And I had, I had, where's it gone? Yeah. Jeepers Creepers. You're telling me I need to go track down. I must have dropped it in the moving phase. I'll be right back. Found it. That was challenging. There we go. Lovely. Now, where were we? Go for a little bit of this on the palette. Put a little bit of this. Beautiful. And start painting. Can't help it. I don't think we can have a single session that's wasted if we come at it with red. We can only add more to it. We can only make it pop off the canvas even more than that. So it's going to be pretty exciting. Beautiful. All the way down through here and in here. If you're wondering where this is in the world too, it's a little shady spot that I've found in New Zealand. Delightful little spot. It's um, is the camera dirty or is it just lens glare? I'm sorry about that. How's that? I think I improved it a little bit. If I stand here, it'll stop the shade every now and again. Or we'll get uh, two separate different styles. Either way, it'll be fun. Right. But probably a bit of lens glare. There we go. Beautiful. Just like that. So these are the feathers. All directions. Beautiful. Just keep splicing a bit of white through this, building the color out, see where it takes us. I'm 
liking the spot too. It's got a little bit of sun on my neck, but actually on the whole, we're lovely and sheltered here. This is our own little space. <laughs> no, I have not. Never, ever, ever have I ever. The question was, do I ever, have I ever done a portrait of myself? New, who knew, knew. Beautiful. Just keep splashing it around. Even more white. Just keep building towards those lighter tones. See where it takes us. <laughs> yeah, look, I got a bit messy with this t-shirt, so I let it get some paint on it. It's, um, but it does happen. It does happen. I'm the opposite of fussed about it. Disappointing though it is, isn't it? We expect better. That's all right. Dun 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 dun. Here we go. Into the mix. So they added a little bit. It's more like a grey colour now. Just a little bit of blue through it. But they're quite pastely colours. The white I've had added. So it's not going to come off as blue, it's going to be more like a grey colour hanging around the background, which is what I want. Yeah, so why does he want that? I just do. I just do. <laughs> hey. Ooh, is it struggling with exposure levels, is it? Oh well. Look, we're in a wild little spot, and we'll take what we can get. Exposure's too much, and exposure's too much, but as I jump side to side, you get the idea of what's been made here, how it's coming together. It's a pretty fun piece. Let's grab some. And just to get a bit more of a difference in the texture I'm using, I've got this little funky brush. A little funky brush. It's been a pretty good friend when it comes to building out some of those different textures in the work. Because we've currently got a whole bunch of brush strokes, which is fun. Don't get me wrong, I love brush strokes. But for feathers, since we're capturing, capturing Phyllis feathers, I want to get that feathery feeling which this can give me so that's exciting there we go beautiful oh all over the show up through here I'm gonna be sure the one problem with these sponge things though is once you've committed to a color 
you have committed to a color. You are on that buzz. Try and get a little bit out because I want to grab some uh, whites. But you can see the color just keeps on coming it's like a felt tip. It's part of why it's fun in the early layers because you can keep painting non stop. But, but when it comes to these layers, I want to swap from color to color. We are facing more of a challenge than we are pleasure. Here we go. So it's going to bleed out a bit of that pink through it. Give us me, give us a pastel pink. And then with that, with that I can just play around until we slowly get to the white. Not in a hurry. Just let it come gradually. There we go. And up to the top here too. Beautiful. All the way out to the edges. All the way up. See how it's starting to grow bigger? So she was sort of more encroached and close to the face, but as we start doing those finer details on the feathers, out it comes more. You get a bigger explosion. Ah. Oh. Sandfly just put the back of my thigh. Naughty little fella. Doesn't even know I'm trying to paint. Could be a she. Mm. Is it just one of the other? I think one of the other bites. Not all sandflies bite, do they? Or is it just the males or the females? I forget. I forget these things. How is it summer here already? Well, there's a fantastic thing. The planet Earth on its axes. Um, sometimes has half the world in summer and half the world in winter. So that is what it is. We've been in summer for the last couple of months. You've missed out. Sorry. There we go. Beautiful. Now we just keep adding more white. More white, more white. And then uh, last little piece, we're gonna go from the white into some uh, yellows. So we get those yellowy tinges in it. But um, yeah. Again, I'm sorry about the glare. It's a nice little shady spot. The light's all correct, but there's just that sun just up there coming down, coming down hot. way out to the sides there and then string through yeah there we go and then there's this lovely little there we are nice nice underneath over the top forward to going on those eyes a bit more too they are waiting for it right as promised a bit of yellow they call me mellow yellow oopsie daisies bumped over my drink bottle and didn't have the comment showing the time here is 3 30 and what's more amusing well my girlfriend tells me I'm funny. She regretfully told me before we started dating that she thought I was the funniest person she'd ever met. Now that we're together, she regrets that statement immensely. Imagine if you told your significant other that you're the funniest, that you think they're the funniest person you've ever met. 
hard to tell them their jokes aren't funny after that. You really set yourself up there. Alright. You know what I love? I love the smell of mosquito spray. I'm covered in it right now. It just... Does it just remind me of travel? I think so. Maybe that's it. Maybe it just reminds me of Asia. And being on the adventure. Wouldn't surprise me. Hearing the animals in the background is actually relaxing. True, true. Except for when those cicadas get way, way too excited. And it does happen. It does happen. They start getting so wild and shrieking out. You're trying to concentrate and there is no hope for you. Uh, this is cicada land and we're here to yell. Let it be. Dun, dun, dun. Let it be. Well, he went quiet. I embarrassed him. Now he's bailed. Hey to Arizona. Welcome on in. There are no bugs here. I mean, it'd be cool if there weren't, but my extreme bug spray would say otherwise. Yeah, that's looking fun. I'm liking it. I'm gonna put down that tool for a moment. I'm gonna pick up a little bit more of this. And a bunch of white. I'll just keep using more white. Just keep using more white. Because it's fun. Features. Just like that. Now if we're in the space here a little bit too. Keep dabbing on that nose. In little ways, can't help myself. These are classic New Zealand attire. They're called stubbies. They've been around since the 1970s. Not this particular pair. I wasn't born yet, but um, Fantastic for hopping over fences. Combat shorts. New Zealand combat shorts. I'm not sure if they uh, hand them out in the military, but they should. Here we go. Hope they go right around the back. And the teeth. Beautiful pearly white teeth. that temptation to do each teeth as an individual. That would be a mistake. Make it come up through there. And over the top. Beautiful. Where else are we going to go down here in the 
this lip here. To you, Tony Biff. That's what I'm after. Beautiful. All right. Give me, give me a teeny tiny bit of gold. Yeah, do those lashes just gently. Here we go. continuity of the color there. A little lash out in a few other places as well. Especially on these earrings coming down. That's the plan. Thanks John. It's actually kind of nice when you have a just a little bit of shade and you're not open to the intense exposure of the world. The uh, strength that can hit you when you're out there in the full sun of New Zealand. Our sun has no chill, not one little piece. Yeah. I do move to new locations, always a new spot. There we go, and now we're going to add, if I hand it here, just a little bit of brown into the equation. Going to deepen that colour to more like a raw sienna. Yeah, Naples yellow meets sienna. Lovely. Bain looks great, huh? I'm glad you like it. Glad you like it. It's finest feathers. Phyllis feathers. Very, very famous drag icon. I'm just capturing that character. One pigment at a time. There we go. Now what happened to my black? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Ooh. Had a leak of the manganese blue. You can see that now. The bottom of my box is completely full of blue. Wow. It's a disaster. <laughs> and white. Here we go. All over my hand. Fantastic. Fantastic. That's what I've always wanted. To be completely coated in paint. Wish it was paint that was safer. <laughs> no, it's safe. Just as long as I don't put on an open wound or eat it, get it in my eyes. These are the things to be avoided with good quality paint.
Here we go. Can you sing us a song, please? Sorry, Charles. I can't help you. Sometimes the mood catches for music. And other times, I kind of like the sound of nature. I like the little chirps, the little birds. It's going on uh, 3.47 here, so it's getting close to the time when actually these birds and bees will start getting ready for bed. Couple of hours, another three or four hours. God, jeepers creepers. Someone had the audacity to say there aren't any bugs around here. And I'll tell you what, I'm already sprayed and they're still going at me. They're still having a go. Mm. This is Phyllis Feathers. That's who we're capturing today. That's who we're capturing. Even though it's a little bit uh, jeepers. The way that light's hitting, it's a bit of a struggle for you guys. Hmm. I wonder if I can angle it better there for you. There we go. Ever so slightly. Just gonna grab a little bit of black and put it around those eyes. There's a spider on me. Are you sure? So Mozzie got a good little bite off on me. That was annoying. All right. Hello Ryan, how are we doing? Cheap as a loss on my hand. Here we go. Rub that off. Do do do. <laughs> you can feel the energy of Phyllis. Phyllis, that's perfect. That's what we're after. Oh, I wish they hadn't bit me right there on my elbow. It's so itchy. Move the pick a little bit, I can't see your reference. Well, usually I keep the reference out of shot further over that way, so I can look straight at it, but uh, it's the reference there. And all the crazy light. I'll tell you what, I think we might get away with actually just going like this. Mm -mm -mm. Come right to here. Come even further back. Will that work? Or is that too dark? It's probably too dark there, actually. Too dark for me, baby. Just to move you around. Hmm. 
Hmm. It's not ideal. It's better. <laughs> it's an attempt at better. this one for a moment. It needs some more transparency gels on it now. Lay it down here. There we go. Let's bring back this one. Now this might get a little bit distorted from your point of view. Because it's some texture that'll capture the uh, light differently. Swipe that there. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> it's a wee bit wild with the amount of... Uh... But that sun looks like it's just about to dip behind a slope, so... When it dips, picture will reveal. When it dips, it's literally right there. The line's here, and it's shifting with the light as we speak. La da da dee da do da dee. It's all blocked up. Do I like Lord? Yeah, I suppose so. I suppose so. Yeah, of course I do. She's fantastic. I hear she's really, really nice. I hear she's really, really nice in person. Those great whites, they have big teeth, and they bite you. It's very observant of it too. They've always been in love, but you're not in love no more. Little mosquito blew up me. Cheeky little. There we go, he landed on me. Took a blown away that time. Finally. There we go.
How's our uh, visualization going? Still very much coated. All right, I'll move you around a little bit. Here we go. Back you go, team. And let's bring myself forward. Let's speed up the uh, process of sunset. Well, the colors don't pop nearly as well now, but at least you can sort of see what's happening. I like that. Perfecto. Perfecto. Fantastic. We have a perfecto coming out. That's the place to be. to see those key characteristics coming to the surface slowly but coming to the surface <laughs> please highlight the spike crown um, there will be some highlights that start sneaking around our character a natural aura of light coming from behind her but at the moment, at the moment, we just need to keep slashing around some uh, contrasting tones like our whites and our blacks and the uh, shades on each part of the spectrum. Just to build out, at the moment, it's lovely color, lovely black, lovely white, but not those in-between shades that help build the um, uh, contour of the body. So. That's the thing we're doing now. Okay. A bunch of... There we go. Splash that out through here. It's going to give that warmth. That glow to her. That's what I want. Give her a bit of that. Let's see her glowing now. Beautiful. That's what I want. That's what I want for you. Just like that. Up around here. Lovely. You wild, wild, crazy picture. It's coming through. It is coming through, but it is. You're looking at an image of chaos. Absolutely distorted, wonderfully insane. But somehow, in amongst all this messy, chaotic paint, liberty. And that's so kind of what the message is. She holds freedom, inspiration, and hope. And so I kind of wanted to. You know when you find inspiration in the most darndest of places? Or well, hope? Right when you're about to lose all of it? Chaos in this paint sort of represents that in its own little way. It's wild. It's really wild. Whew. 
And these mosquitoes are not giving me any reprieve. They are into me. Whew. Which I don't mind, but they do bite. Well, do you call it biting or sucking? What do mosquitoes do? They suck blood, don't they? They suck blood, so I guess you'd say. How are we looking, team? G'day, Mike. Good to have you in here. Let me, uh, let me pick you up and show you this one closer. It's chaotic. Really chaotic, but beautiful. Interesting. More oranges and reds, but at the moment I'll pick you up and show you. Okay. So if we come really close, it's all just gonna go completely wild. This is what it looks like on the close-up. Like that. And when we start coming on back, the picture gains that context but only from a distance. Do we see our uh, Lady Liberty popping out? Um, let me just put this under here. There we go. Fantastic. So, when it comes to finishing, a painting like this off. The paint is so thick and a regular spray-on varnish or even an isolation coat where you'll be able to remove the varnish, it's a little bit tough. So it depends, it really depends, but we'll see how we get on. We're not finished yet. We're not finished yet, but I think the best thing for it is probably a permanent varnish layer. We'll put an isolation coat down, but we'll treat the final varnishing coat as permanent. The isolation coat creates a barrier between the two, so you can replace the varnish as it yellows or changes over time. But with this piece here, although we'll do it, with the amount of texture in the work, it'll be challenging to swap, and so whatever varnish we put on as a finishing coat, will treat as a finishing coat once and for all. Beautiful. This area through here is just stunning. Absolutely stunning. Let me bring you close so you can see this. You'll see this, guys. Right up in here. Okay. Let me... So right in here is where I'm looking. You can see just absolutely absolutely chaotic that's what we're after that 50 50 between chaos and reality that i see the image but there's also so much not ambigu ambiguity but easter eggs that i'm seeing or looking for in amongst this chaos um and light hits Light's hitting her from the front on the side here, but um, yeah. She's got a glow almost everywhere, coming from behind, within, everywhere. Statue. Pretty fun. Um, let me have a little look see though. We're going to need another colour. Possibly, what I would like is some vivid, crazy orange. Well, Civil Four. Yeah. 
second dash. Here we go. Loving this. It's slowly coming towards exactly where we want it to be. Hey, yeah. Uh. <laughs> and cheers, Mike. Can I say something? The arm. Yeah, the arm's on an interesting angle for you and how you see it. Because with this large border here, it catches the light. Well, it obscures it a little bit for you and brings the focus in towards the face. But then as the light would shift, you'd also see something different. So the arm's not to be adjusted right now. You've got to see it in multiple different lighting styles to try and ascertain if, yes, that's the go, or, hmm, let's tweak, let's adjust. This all comes into it. Right. Now, 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 now. Let's grab down here. one perfect and we haven't used this for a while so this is gonna be a fun one phalo green and the star of the show terra verde terra verde which is just a saturated green Exactly how I want you to look. Just like that. Not done yet, but we're in all the right places. Just through here. Nice. Terra Verde, is that green earth? It is. Well done. Proud of you. <laughs> Get some sleep, Heather. Thanks for joining. white to this cover then. So we need to get more like a pale green. Steadily. Steadily as she goes. Ooh, that's right. The lid's got that. The blocked lid on my wife right now. Beautiful. A bunch more of that. Let's 
fun with you, boy. like that. Okie dokie. Charge off to next. I love that question. Just gonna get this all through that top crown. I need the crown to look absolutely amazing. And hey Skywalker, love what you did against the Sith. Really proud of you actually. Wasn't easy. This painting is absolutely gorgeous. What do you do with it once it's done? This work here is a bit unique. On top, most of the works that you see on Instagram and TikTok are commissions. So this one's included in that. This is a commission of Statue of Liberty. So I'll have prints of it available, but the actual work itself will... Uh, already have a home once it's completed but that being said just because it's sold doesn't mean we can't be here and enjoy it being made together because half the beauty here and every layer coming together is seeing the process and all the paint that gets covered up with a messy raw wild way of going about things and although there's a finished result that sits in front of us, there's all this paint which gets hidden under other layers that's only enjoyed in the process side of it. So, I did another bite on the inside of my thigh. I swear to God, guys, this is not my day. This is not easy. <laughs> okay, so there's this one, and we're working on uh, Phyllis Feathers across here too. That's 16 inches by 20 inches. And we've got this one here, which is 24 by 48. So, a monumental piece. Well, we're usually, the biggest size I'll do is 48 by 60 inches. 36 inches by 48 is about perfect. This size here is lovely, because I can stand beside it and reach every part of it quite easily. And then, probably the most golden zone size would be, oh, got some paint on myself, um, the golden zone size would be 24 by 36, 24 by 34. <clears throat> <laughs> New location unlocked, that's correct, just stand back here beside you for a moment guys, let's see what we're looking at. Make sure I'm heading in the path that I want to be going in. Yeah, perfect. This is the color I want. Perfect. We get that Teta Verde, which is that earthy, beautiful green. Over the top, a little bit of teal. So we got a mixture of terra verde and teal.
bit more white. Can't stop this feeling. Love the green, yeah. So green wants to keep becoming the uh, most prominent color of use, Mike. As long as we keep coming back to green, we can have flings out there with our Naples yellows, our primary yellows, blues and reds, but we have to keep coming back to that green and reinforcing it. So you'll notice these other colors, but fundamentally, you'll understand her as the green goddess. See, if you were here suddenly, if we suddenly started calling Mike, for example, we start referring to Mike as the uh, golden god, well, Mike still might want to wear blue every now and again. Or well, Mike might suit some teal colors. We limit him. We limit him. If we just say the green goddess is only green. So. Now, get rid of that, and in the pockets, what do I do with that Teddy Bear Day? Here we go. Ooh, or am I going to deviate to Viridian Green? Nah, give me Teddy Bear Day. There we go. Lovely. All right, bunch of green, baby. Bunch of green, let's start honing in. That's where I want you to be. Perfect. Coming on down these sides here. Yolda from Christchurch. Hey Alice, how we doing? Um, or versus? Lovely. Whew. We're making good ground. It's tiring, but it's worth it. It's a, certainly a see the sort of painting you think getting this wild would be liberating and 
sometimes it is, but also it's an incredible amount of willpower and mind power that goes into it. To try and avoid the word from taking over, it wants you to be crazy, but actually in amongst this chaotic surface, trying to see where you actually want the pain to go. Avoiding, not avoiding, but not letting the texture control you, not letting the current colors control you, just seeing what you see and adding it to the picture, allowing the picture to come to life. That's the biggest part. The picture's kind of like a partner in that it's not up to you to change them. It's up to you to allow them to be who they are. And don't worry, you don't need to push them. You create space. They'll be coming. Alright, I'm going to get myself a refreshment and then um, come on back and determine what's going to happen next. Always love determining what's going to happen next. What will happen next? On this wild, chaotic piece of paint. That's the question. <laughs> talk to us. AB, I am talking. But I'm going to paint as well. So I'm a talking, painting sort of a guy. Mike, have a great day. Appreciate you jumping in again, Mike. You legend. Ooh. All right. I'll be back, team. fill up a drink bottle and attempt to wash my hands but then they'll be wet and I'll just get them dirty again so maybe we just run with it anyway I'll be back in a second I'm gonna take these jandals off too because Jeepers Creepers Coming back. Don't panic. Inbound. Inbound. Here we go. Jandals back on. Looks like A.B. missed me. <laughs> okay. Just get a little bit of... Where are you hiding? Oh, that a little bit dark. Yes, yeah, just another man. Come on, Andy. I wish it was Sunday. 
That's my fun day. That one's completely out of juice. That's my fun day. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, itchy. Yeah, you are right. It is. But it's also a good song, right? I always agree on that. You're just another manic Monday. Wish it was Sunday. Hey Riri. Where is Thirty. I am in New Zealand. New Zealand is just stunning. Just another manic Monday. So you could probably argue that we're chasing a bit of detail now. Just a few little pockets. Okay. Stupid on it. But we are chasing little pockets. There's no doubt. <laughs> if you squint the plating bleeds in the trees. Well that means we've got green. That's a good sign. Mmm. There we go. Just another manic Monday. I wish it was Sunday, yeah. Maybe Bruce Springsteen could rejig that song. Make it something real special for us all. <laughs> Maybe. Hello, Lewis. And who else do we have here? I'm glad you love it, DJ. I'll read that comment out, actually. There's so much light bursting through before there's an incredible stoicism that we've been able to create. So, that's wonderful that you see that because we spoke a little bit about the stoic nature of liberty but not just so much the stoic nature and that it's not a reaching 
like a desire for something or a please listen. The statue's shoulders are square. She stands strong and has one hand up as to say, here's my message, here's my message, and I'll share it for all those who'll listen. But I won't actively seek to tell you it, I'm here holding it. And that message is just right there on Wikipedia. It's freedom, inspiration, and hope. And so if you can be stoic, if you can be stoic, but give out freedom, inspiration, and hope, then you're standing for what liberty would stand for. Um, that being said, Jafee, you're not the first person to ask, <laughs> but this one's not available. It will not be for sale. There will be prints of it. Now, the prints will be fun, but also realise with the prints that part of the beauty of a piece like Liberty is that when the lighting changes in the room, we've added some texture. So like a statue, as the lighting changes, the statue changes. This is very similar to that. So the print, although fun, won't have that lighting change dynamic. Um, still beautiful, and beautiful, but beautiful in the same way from a hundred angles. This picture is beautiful in a different way from every possible angle on the 180 degree spectrum of degrees you could see it from. And that's kind of, that's a very important element of the craft behind Liberty. Because if you think about it, you don't go visit Liberty and stand there and look at it. What are the two ways to go and see Liberty? You can go on a boat cruise and go past her, multiple angles, or the helicopter and go round her. Again, multiple angles. This is a statue unlike other statues. This is a statue that's designed or stands to be seen from multiple different angles. So we need to capture that. Capture that. and paint and as we start adding in more of this this is the detail stage <laughs> you'd be like what um, this is the detail stage in that the colors are slightly more muted and we're looking for shapes a little bit of contrast a little bit of movement a little bit of angle in these different place areas and we just start capturing Liberty, and you'll start to see us separate from that background as we add on more of these green tones. Thanks, Williamson. I appreciate you. Um, the best place to have done this, arguably, I mean, here is perfect, but an alternative idea would be to actually get on one of the uh, boats going around Liberty and do it on site. Although, with the different changing angles, the artwork would become even more abstract. Like, you're changing every few minutes to seconds. Wonderful. Thanks, Adam. Appreciate you, mate. You'd also paint the base of Liberty to enjoy the light changing over time. Yeah, true, true. This picture here that I'm doing, it cuts off at about the uh, one, um, 1 bit below the brick. I see that. That's where the, the cut lines come horizontally. But um, there's a good another third to Liberty. But capturing the top third, top two thirds, when you look at her, it actually feels like you're looking up at her, which I kind of like, that slight downward 
gay, sorry, a slight um, upward angle to look at her, she's not downwardly gazing at you, she's looking slightly above you, as in you're looking up at the vision that she has, and her vision is something beyond what we are, or her vision is something that we're trying to reach. And in this case here, that's 100% true. Hope, inspiration, and freedom are things you don't just suddenly have and it's over. They are things that you actively live. You don't just have a moment of hope and it's over. The seed of hope gets in you and then it starts to grow into a tree. Just like inspiration doesn't just, you get a sudden fleeting moment of inspiration, but real inspiration, it sits inside you and it just it burns like a little flame. Freedom, similar boat. All these things, similar boat. Oh, this has been a fun piece to do together, though. I love something that uh, is universally recognisable, like the Liberty Statue, but when we make it, there's something new about it. So, we get to experience something that we can connect over in a different way. I think that's part of the beauty in art, personally. take topics that we're very used to and we challenge ourselves from new angles. We see if we can't alter our thinking or change the way in which we behave in different ways. Tell you what, speak, I'm thinking of that in terms of sports training. Speaking of sports training, if you've been to America I don't know if you've done this, but if you've ever been inside one of those cages that fires the baseball at you, I've seen nothing like that in New Zealand. Man alive. I put $2 in the chute, and I'm standing there, and this ball hurtles straight past me. My only way to time that is by watching the machine as the ball comes up. Three, two, one. And then I'm swinging before I've even had a chance to see the ball coming out. And only then, then and only then, do I have a chance to actually hit? But I see some American boys, they get in there and they line it up and they're not watching the machine to get a, a bit of a uh, early clue. They're just watching and bang, away it goes. So, baseball players. Baseball. Give them some credit because they're doing something that can't quite relate to. Legends. Okay. A little bit around there. Hey, um, you also know the drill, guys. If you're on... Um, sorry, not if you're on. Wherever you're coming from, uh, all the social links are in the bio. And there's Instagram and all that sort of jazz. Replays, if you're watching these replays, they are up on YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook. So you can grab the replays from there. But at this stage, like I say with the detail, things slow down. It goes from being this crazy wild process to more of a ASMR process. So um, don't be surprised if you start in one video and I'm just hooping and hollering and throwing paint to the canvas and then we'll go into another one and there's a little bit more peace and stoicism as we add on the final touch points of colour. Well, that's amazing. Yeah. Getting some love for the painting. It is a pretty special one. 
I, I am falling for this one. Thalo Blue, team. Thalo Blue. That's why we pause for a moment. To consider these things. Thalo Blue, because it's the polar opposite of the red that I've attached around. And the areas that need touching are actually where that red's sitting. So this blue is going to match its hue. Bring in some more calipel to a few little pockets. There we go. There we are. Just a God. So I want it to be. Just through there like that. Down here. Good, good, good. You can see how it's already decided to define there a little bit. Ever so gently as well. I don't think of definition as this, the hard and fast border lines, there's more to definition. It's the elegance of making those strokes. There we go. Sounds like my brother's finished for the day. So we'll go for a little bit longer. But then I'm gonna go hang out with my family. Always so impressed. DJ, you know what? You are possibly one of the best support people an artist could hope for. But you gotta be careful. Now, promise me one thing, DJ. When you don't like it, voice your opinion. Because if you wanna be someone's biggest fan, an artist will start to realize <laughs> when clients or collectors or friends or gallery whoever starts to be like you yeah, it's great it's great it's great it's great and then it won't be so great but they'll still be saying it's great and you'll start to mistrust it see when you don't like something and you come out the gate and say i i don't like that i can't stand it everything else is perfect but why don't i like this that's healthy and it's gonna actually in those situations make an artist trust you more because they'll actually, by you saying you don't like something, you validate every single compliment you've given. Because you've actually told the person, told the creator, that I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid to tell you how I feel. And, yeah. So, <laughs> and you never know. Me or any artist might get sassy in that moment. <laughs> but, but... It's an essential moment because you're actually empowering that person. There we go. Another bite, cheeky little monkeys. <laughs> Sassy sip. Yeah, a little bit. Careful mosquitoes, you are you are one hundred percent correct. They are out like storm at the moment, but are well and truly coated. But they have been getting a few good nibbles off on me, which I haven't been overly impressed about. But anyway, it's happened. Start to see. See when I say detail? Yeah, are you starting to see more of those ripples in the clothing in amongst the chaos? Just as this color starts to work in and complement that red and everything the red's doing.
que es un sol humano, no hablo español, lo siento. Lo siento. Side or hands? Absolutely take my hands. Take my hands. I'm just attach a brush as a nub, but like, for me, sight's so important. Not because I need it to paint. You can put a blindfold on me, I could still paint. But the pleasure, the pleasure for me behind paintings is watching it happen and then see, like, seeing the result, yes, but actually watching it each stroke land and flow and move. This is what I love. And if that wasn't there, then why would my hands want to create in the first instance? Instance, I very rarely, I don't know. <laughs> that's an important thing. A lot of the time, four seconds out of five, you should be watching your reference pick as you're doing your strokes. You'll watch, you'll watch great artists, they paint like this a lot of the time. You know, they're not looking the whole time at the artwork. I love to look, I'm a watcher, and so I'm staring at the artwork because I want to watch the paint touch. Not because it changes where the brush stroke goes, but because actually watching it is so immensely satisfying, watching teal turn to blue, Naples yellow slowly, gently lay and stroke over these pastel colors. Like, that's what spins my wheels. Sorry, big answer, take my hands. That's what I'd say. Take my hands. I know that's very annoying for poor old Shelby, but anyway, it's all right, it's all right, it's all right. She'll be fine. Right, Shelby, I'm so sorry. I opted to keep my eyes. I'd actually prefer that. If, you, if I was choosing for my partner as well, I'd choose keep their eyes. That's gonna mean that you need to do more around the house, but that's okay. Always keep the eyes seeing so beautiful. That being said, if I lost my eyes, you go on a journey when that sort of thing happens. You might find out that actually you've missed out on some fantastic things your other senses can do that you've failed to notice because you're so hell-bent on how important your eyes were. Please check the camera lens, it's kind of blurry. How's that? Improvement and disaster. Questions. Okie dokie. We have had a funny day in terms of the lighting conditions. It's been all over the show. And I'm done. Not completely. <laughs> Not completely on this work. But uh, we're going to pause there and let it dry overnight. This one and Phyllis Feathers. And as they dry, we'll see where else we'll add it. But uh, this is exactly where we want this work to be. The crazy, crazy colors, but actually falling back on a foundation 
green and dark green building out the character in it. That's good. That's really good. Yeah. Let's stand back for a moment. See what else we feel here. Mmm. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Yeah, we'll pause there. We'll pause there. The temptation to keep going is always so strong. Oh, got another bite right there on my ankle. Hard life. Painting's got great energy. Thanks, Tim. Appreciate you. Uh, so your favorite Kiwi's going well. <laughs> Taylor looks amazing. More pink. Fair enough. All right, guys. I'm going to hit the track. Thank you so much for joining me. Appreciate you being here. I want to get these mosquitoes away from me. Pack up. And then gaze at these paintings over the evening to see what they might need and what they might need to change. Perfect team. You just joined. Oh, I'm sorry, RC. But uh, I do have to go. Because look, I'm, I'm dying here. These things are taking all my blood. <laughs> I know. It's all right though, Ryan. It's all right. There'll be plenty more paintings coming. I appreciate you being here. 90 minute quick fire session. So that was pretty fun. <laughs> Let's dive on this here. All right, guys. I'll see you later.